Hey everyone, it's Alfred. I just um, wanted to record another video for the series, how to beat 10 and L. It started off a little bit um, good. I was just like grinding like some hands just to set up the recording and everything. And yeah, and currently down $5. So 50 big blinds, no big deal. Uh, yeah. I stacked on early on with aces versus ace king, then lost queens versus jacks right after. So kind of just even on the session right now. And be mixing a three bet with a seven suited every now and then. Generally these middling suited aces like a six, a seven don't really make a good um, three bet. The wheel aces are much better along with the higher um, Broadway aces. Gonna be folding the 5-7 off here, a little bit loose. Yeah, now it's just a pure fold. Oops. Pretty nice hand here, ace queen. Just marking our short stacks here. Generally short stacks mean like fun players, you know. If they were like serious about the game, they'd be uh, having their auto top up on. So if you don't have that on right now, you should turn it on. Just allows you to win the maximum every single hand. You know, like imagine you have 30 bigs and you get aces versus kings. Just, just kind of a disaster. Uh, Jack do suited is a bit close with the rake. I'm pretty sure it's a fold. Pretty nice wheel ace here. Would make a good three bet bluff as well. Of course, gonna roll ace four suited. Actually, ace four, ace, ace five is like more of the pure three bet bluffs. Gonna have a limp pot here. Never mind. And yes, um, I was just I just noticed that I'm playing against a very aggr aggressive player here. So it's just important to note what kind of players you're playing against to make exploits. I think we do a little bit more betting with our back there flush draw here. So we can roll for it. Gonna roll for a check here. Backdoor flush draw comes in. We will have some flushes on this turn. So I'm gonna raise here actually as a bluff. Nice. Gonna get it through. And gonna call the threes here. Gonna be folding the jack five off. So not much going on with their hand. Uh, like nice to see a check because you can see a free card. That's a pretty nice card actually. It's kind of weird that he's delayed C bending this. Well, he will have some middling hands that will check. I think we beat hands like Jack-10, King-Jack, so we can definitely call. <clears throat> Sorry, that's one of the hands we beat actually, so uh, nice to see that there. Going to be folding here, and going to have two callers with a 7-8 offsuit. And we're gonna face a lead here, so it's kind of just out the window, right? Just wanna see, um, not folding right away, just to see if the hand's gonna be played out. It'll give us some um, information on Papa Jr. over there. Ace Jack here with a very short stack. So we're gonna call. Not much going for us here, except a backdoor flush. Now we turn a pair, which is a nice showdown value. Still think we're gonna be checking. On the river, once he checks, we can go for some value here. 
He could have something like pocket fives. Can open this, but that player seems a little bit too wild to open. Nice hand here with pocket tens. Don't forget to label your short stacks. Can mix um, king eight suited, but since we see that there is like a weaker player and a big blind, we can sort of just open here, open this kind of hand. Gonna face a squeeze here, so now we have an easy fold. Another short stack here. Can I saw this? But um, depending on how well you know the players, how comfortable you are with post-flop play, all factors into decisions. Going to be open the, opening the ace-3 suited here. And we're going to get three bets, so it's a pretty big three bet. We're out of position, and the guy's a short stack. That kind of equals a fold. Same thing here. I have a nice hand here, ace 10 suited. This one we're gonna peel against a small blind, who is doesn't have auto three buy on. Just one thing to note before playing. So we're gonna flop a backdoor straight and backdoor flush. On this board, we, we can just um get away with betting but generally I'm going to check when we don't have a backdoor flush draw or flush draw in general. Pretty good card for our range. I think we're going to bet here. We can definitely get him to fold like some jack 10 here. I'm going to be folding the ace 10 suited here. Just thinking if it's worth calling. Thinking of how wide his range could be on the turn, whether he's still going to be calling some like ace jack or ace 10 here. And I think it's just um, calling on, the, I think he's going to be folding a lot of those kinds of hands. Very interesting that he has jacks there actually, since he checked that flop and essentially didn't through that pre-flop. So we can say that he's very trap happy, you know? So yeah, we can say that um, calls JJ. I'm actually going to take a very big sizing here, considering there's a short stack and a cold caller. We're going to take a bigger sizing than usual with a top two pair on a board that's very good for us. Um, generally, like I think that the small blind won't really have the ability to fold a an ace here, so he's going to be calling us down with ace five, ace eight, and ace king isn't really there, so easy call and yep so that's why we bet those sizings kind of a weird bluff I'm gonna be three betting the ace king oops forgot to finish my note so what was I saying about this guy calls jacks pre x on and we just have a multi-way pot this time. It won't really make sense for us to bet since our hands, we don't really have much. And seeing a half pot lead into two people is enough to let us fold. Um, we can consider calling up sometimes with the backdoor flush draw. 
but um, he cold called and bet into two people, so it's not really something I want to get involved in. Showing a lot of strength, essentially. And here we have pocket jacks. We're not going to play it like this guy. We're going to 3-bet it. And this is going to be a cold 4-bet. And we're going to be folding to a jam. I think like some sims show that you call off jacks here, but I just don't think that the range is going to be wide enough. And if this guy's a reg, he will have some traps here like aces and kings. But on like a flop like this, we're getting stacked anyways. We have to deny equity from like his king, queen suited, his ace, queen, and even ace, king that can call here. And looks like we're going to take it down. So he might have had one of those hands like king, queen suited, king, jack suited. King 10 suited, stuff like that. Mostly broadways, even like low suited connectors. So good for us. I think we're up on the session. Nope, we're still down a dollar. Quite unfortunate. Um, even though we're quite deep, I still favor a 3-bet here. Now, I don't want to make this video too long, so let's just see how long we're going to... How long we've been recording and um, 12 minutes, so we'll go until like 12-ish. And we're facing a short stack here. Um, I think that like we just check, try to turn some equity. Here, I think I'm gonna prefer a bet to deny equity from people, from these guys. I've seen um, big blind play quite loose actually. So here, I don't think we're getting value from much. Um, middle cutoff shouldn't have many fours, but he can have like king jack suited, king ten suited. Under river, I still think we're going for value against like a weaker king because we kind of have the nut king here since he didn't 3-bet pre. Can even have like 8s, 10s, 8. And here, this is just a spot where no one ever bluffs, so we can easily fold here. He could be have like some 9s here, even 5s, um, even like 4x here, so 4-5 suited. Um, yeah, it's just a spot that no one really bluffs, so even though we have top pair, middle kicker here, and like Sims will show that um, he will call this off sometimes, not blocking the clubs, and um, yeah, it's just the spot no one really folds. <clears throat> I'm just going to think about it more. I'm not. No one really bluffs this spot is what I'm trying to say. He mainly has like nines here, I think. Just checking down here. I'm just trying to decide whether to call for the video, but yeah, I'm gonna fold here. Like, um, yeah. Here we're gonna call a half pot bet. Still has some air here, but it's just unfortunate when he shows us like pocket sixes. And interesting that he didn't three bet king king, ace king. So just gonna make my note again. Damn, so close to being even on the session. Maybe I should have called that king, king, queen hand just for the video. And also to satisfy my curiosity, but pretty sure that it's mostly pocket nines there. So we're gonna be three betting here. And I'm gonna go for like the larger sizing. Maybe gonna go a tick bigger, considering it is a weaker player early position. And we're gonna get min clicked, so this is obviously kings because we have aces, so there's no way he can have aces. And we're just gonna rip it in here. Let's see. 
And once you start playing the pool, you'll kind of just know people's tendencies. So this guy's actually will make a note. Min rate min click strong. So now we know. So imagine you have you can actually make an exploitative fold if you have the queens and you see a min click. You know, you already know. So I'm actually going to float this one. He can have some 5x here, like 5, yeah, just some random 5x here that we have equity against. Now we just turn top pair, so it's just going to be a call down. Ace 9 off is kind of a fold. Yeah, we're just going to be calling down. Queen's kind of an irrelevant card. None of us really, he shouldn't really have any queen x here unless he's betting like queen 5 off. And even though we're quite deep here, still going to go for the 3-bet with the 10s. Just going to go a little over 3x here. Check, check. Let's see what he had. I'm going to be guessing like he's 5 off. And he had pocket 3, so pretty reasonable bet by him, actually. Uh, going to mix this one. Here we're going to go for a half pot bet or can go a little bit smaller. I'm just sizing up a bit since we are a bit deeper. And I kind of want to get the money in by the river, right? Now we just go for two thirds bet, sets up a pretty nice river jam. Still should be calling me down with like jacks, queens here that didn't four bet. And yeah, he, he pretty much has a straightforward fold with his over cards. We'll be sitting out soon. Um, the video is gonna, I don't want the video to get past like 20 minutes-ish. So we'll play a few more orbits. Same thing here, we have a backdoor flush draw, two over cards against a weaker player. Start with the bet. Now, East Jack will we'll squeeze. I'm still going to squeeze. Um, I was going to roll for it, but I just prefer a squeeze in general. I'm going to check back here. We're beating like 5 6. Showdown value with Ace 10. There's just no, no point in bluffing a hand like with showdown value here. So we have pocket jacks here, and I think we just prefer betting a lot more with our um, lower over pairs, primarily nines, tens here. They need more protection than um, your aces and kings. You can actually mix this turn, but in general, I think that the consensus in micro stakes is that we just bet again. Even though it's not like the most ideal card, like you can have eight, nine, seven, nine here. Seven, eight, which we're still beat. Hmm, maybe I prefer a check now. Now that I'm listing all those hands. Yeah, maybe. Let's see what he does on the river. King X is kind of an irrelevant card unless he has like King A, King 7 here. I think we're going to go for value now against hands like Ace 8, Ace 9. Other like 10 8. Basically 8x here. And we don't have a backdoor flush draw here and just two over. So I think we can benefit a lot from getting a free card. This this board is also very strong for the big blind. He'll have a lot of sixes. He has fours and deuces at 100% frequency. Unlike us, who rarely opens deuces or fours from under the gun. And we'll take the free showdown. And once again, we find another player that doesn't three bet ace king three. So we are a bit deep here. It's a bit cautious. We have to be a bit cautious. Still think, um, yeah, uh, ace queen off is a pure three bet. Not really pure, but high frequency three bet. I'm gonna start sitting out now since we are hitting the twenty minute mark. Mm, interesting flop here. I think without the clubs, I think we just have a high frequency check. I'm gonna bet for value here. 
And when we see a huge bet like this, we, it's pretty comfortable for us. And maybe I should just start showing how, how much um, I'm up or down this session after each um, session. Yeah, I might start doing that. All right, so we are up seven bucks, 70 big blinds, and thanks for watching.